G'day fellas. I am so incredibly excited to bring you guys this video. This is the first true build order that we've cracked for the United States. Some of you guys remember the uh, Sweden build that we got with Dominions. Uh, it started off, it was a little bit slow, but then we really got it working and it became meta. This is the first build that I'm confident with the United States is actually going to start to overrun the meta. Uh, so putting this video up, it's a little bit kind of scary for me to do that just because I'm about to shift the meta quite significantly. And it's honestly the most exciting strategy I've ever seen or like the most exciting build order. And I'm not even like trying to, you know, hype it up. What you guys are about to see is going to get freaking ridiculous. You're just going to be so clueless, uh, just wondering what the heck we're doing here. But I promise you, okay, when you see the end game here, you're going to love it. You're going to love it so much. So standard opening here for the United States. Okay, we're just doing our French, uh, you know, French immigrant build order. We've got one villager that's hurting our hunt. Our queen might have spawned quite close to our town center. It's a little bit awkward. Uh, but now going up, we've got our deck. Uh, now, as soon as we've got that 200 wood, pulling those villagers off, off wood and putting them onto coin. So over chopping a little bit, not doing the best, uh, unfortunately, but that's all right. We will come back. We will be using this wood in age one. Now, in the meantime, quite literally any treasure you find, you take it. Literally anything, well, like uh, any resource treasure. You don't want to be finding, you know, like, don't be taking nutkas and stuff like that. I don't really think that's it's, it's really what you want to be doing with this strategy. You just want to be taking resources. Coin, wood, food, doesn't matter. XP, especially good with this build order because this is the most ridiculous build order ever. So I'm going to try and explain it to you guys as we go. So we're going to open up with French immigrants in age one. Then we're going to do a bank wagon in age one. And then we're going to do Irish immigrants in age one. Yes, literally three immigrant cards in age one, and it's actually ridiculous. So for anybody who doesn't know, Kenoki, he's one of my moderators on the Discord, a longtime member of the community. I recently promoted him up. I said, I, I really love your stuff, Kenoki, and I want you on my team. And he's run the numbers on this build order. We were crunching this build order for days, and we finally got it down perfect. And this is the final form. This is what it looks like. So strap yourselves in boys get ready for the ride so now you can see i'm saving up that 350 coin in the bank but we're going to over chop another 50 coin on top of that because we're also going to be getting a market in age one as well this is literally the greediest build i can possibly come up with with the united states and we're taking all of the bonuses that united states gets and and putting them into one so with the immigrant cards okay the immigrant cards are kind of intended to be like this age 1.5 card because you you know you're going to pay resources to get them in you're not getting the full bank wagon itself so now we're pulling off the the villages from coin onto wood uh, and the idea here is that we're going to be researching hunting dogs in the fur in the first stage as well and we're also going to be dropping a trading post as well just when you thought it couldn't get more ridiculous we're literally doing this and we're all doing we're doing it in the first stage we're up to three minutes now finding some good treasures out here as well now that bank wagon is coming in so there's a lot of key timings here, but I'll do my best to try and explain it. I wasn't very fortunate in that I didn't find a, an XP treasure. My opponent found an 80 XP treasure, which is very nice with this build order. Because one of the things that you want to do is when the in-game timer hits 4 minutes and 21 seconds, that's when you want to send your Irish immigrants. And if you're not careful, it can take a while before they come in. So uh, just being very cognizant of that. So now switching over all my villagers over onto food. We've got our hunting dogs upgrade. Our bank wagon's coming in. We put our TP down. We've got our three Kuru de Bar. It is absolutely the most stacked build order you've ever seen. So the, the most common build order, so this is the build order that my opponent's doing is the three Kuru de Bois into the bank wagon, okay? And then sending 700 gold once they reach the second age. We're not sending that 700 gold. We're literally zooming past that. Right now you'll see, I've got 300 food, okay? And I'm making one villager. But you, you take a look at how much food we get by the time this villager completes. Our economy is absolutely insane because we've got so many villagers. We've got 18 villagers, hunting dogs. We've also got a bank. Don't forget about that bank as well. This is the most... I, I, I'm confident when I say that this is the most insane build order yet for the United States that we've found. Take a look at how many, how much food we're up to. We're up to 700 food right now. So idling for just a tiny little bit of time. If we'd found, say, a 90 food treasure, we wouldn't have had a single bit of idling. And I, I'm sure if my macro was a little bit better, probably would have worked that out as well. But uh, nonetheless, and now the Irish coming in. So Irish coming in probably about uh, 10 seconds late. Not not too bad, though. Uh, coming in about 4.31 instead of it being at 4.00. Uh, uh, 21, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, and I, I took a native scout treasure as well, just because I wanted to kill the guardians. You, it's important. You just kill guardians to get experience. Really, really important. Now, one of the big mistakes I'm making is I'm not doing really good herding here. So I've got one herd that I'm going to get out. You can see this is quite far away from my town center. 
There's also another herd just to the south of my town center. I didn't go and herd that in. And I live to regret that decision because it means that I actually slow my age up down by probably about 15 seconds just because we go idle. So now watch those Irish immigrants are going to come in. Look how many villagers we've got. We're up to 23 villagers right now. So we're, we're at five minutes into the game. Our opponent's just age, aging up and we're, we're nowhere even close to it. But it doesn't matter because look how fast our economy is coming in. This is just, oh my God. I, I, I am, I'm so glad to be able to bring this build order to you guys because it's something I've been working on in, in secret with Kenoki now for a while. If you guys are interested in seeing a full breakdown of this build order, I'm going to link in the description to know idle tc if you're not aware of this website it's an amazing website with heaps of resources for age of empires 3 the definitive edition lots of build orders including this builder order as well because we worked on this build order together and now you guys see i've gone idle and i'm looking for i'm looking like i'm panicking i'm like oh my god where are my hunts where are my hunts look at all my villagers just going idle right now i've got like 12 villagers that are just idling when they should all be gathering uh, food at this point and and it, it's just terrible and so now that we've reached the age up uh once once we age up, the most important thing that we do is we send VGA, Virginia General Assembly. So there it is coming in now. Quite a bit of idle time here. Uh, as, as I said, I'm pretty confident I could have got up if, if I'd been playing this a little bit smarter uh, and, and actually doing ap appropriate herding, but I didn't. So it's okay. It's okay. We'll move on. Just 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 pretend like I, I've, I've done that. But uh, anyway, so now we've got the age up going into queue at, what is it, 6 minutes 26. So there it is now. We got Virginia General uh, Assembly coming in behind this. And now the idea is that we're moving villagers over onto wood. We want to get a house down immediately so we can start training our regulars. And with our regulars, the idea is that we're going to do like kind of a timing push, a push, a timing push, a timing push uh, with regulars and vol and uh, and Gatling guns. So that that's the idea. We're going to be sending our regular upgrade as well from the home city. And we really just want to outmass our opponent. It's important to remember state militia are good, but they're only good in mass. Uh, so I think in this matchup, especially maybe once you get to like the later fortress age, state militia are good. But in the early fortress age, I do think that the regulars are probably a bit more potent, just because they deal well with with anti or with the cavalry. Uh, but now you can see the age up where it's coming in at 7:13, 7:14. So almost with the age up, dropping down that second uh, house as well. And so now that we're in we're in the fortress age now we're going to be sending in that factory as the first card so factory coming in straight away our opponent's not even up yet take a look at the score difference we're up by a 2k score at this point uh compared to our opponent we are four villages up uh so that that's like that that's the actual amount of villages that we're up because we sent irish and he sent 700 coin and we aged up uh, we aged up before him and we probably could have aged up a lot earlier than him but nonetheless uh, and now we continue making military. We're rallying military to the middle, middle of the map. And I mean, that, that's pretty much the build order from there. And then from here, you want to send the Russian American company. And the idea is you're going to be using your factory on wood and coin. Everybody else is pretty much just going to be on food. And because you've got the Russian American company, you've got 30% food gathering rate, which is absolutely insane. So you want to have as many villages on food that you can and be getting away with it. So really, really nice to to invest in the Russian American company. It's also going to provide you two barracks. So a lot of people were wondering why I was rating the Russia American company so high. Well, I guess I guess I was kind of like keeping it a little bit secret because this card, it, it's the key to this build order. It's really what makes it so strong. Because right now, sitting in my base, I've got one barracks. A single barracks is there, and look at the resources that I'm starting to build up now. I've got 100 wood where I can drop down another house. But look, I'm about to finish my batch and I've got enough resources now ready for a second batch. I don't have the resource. I, I don't have enough wood to create another barracks or another second barracks. Not to mention, you know, the blockhouse is going down. Uh, so this really provides that amazing medium in between because it's got the economic bonus. There's an infrastructure bonus. There's a defensive bonus. It's just, it's such a, an incredible card especially with this build order it really synergizes well we're taking all four of the um all the all four of the immigrant cards into play here with this build order and i think that's really what makes it so cool is that we're, we're implementing you know we're really looking at the united states strengths here we're extending out their first age as long as possible to try and utilize those first age immigrant cards as best that we can and that's exactly what we do we hit all the timings perfectly and this is what enables us to get ahead. So the scores are now somewhat closed up, but you guys are going to see when, when the first battle sort of unfolds, just what the difference is in musketeer numbers or in, in regular numbers. It, it gets huge. Now, I've done this strategy a number of times uh, against players who are quite evenly uh, rated. This guy, for anybody unfamiliar, I think at the moment he's in the top 20. So he's quite a good player. The build order that he's doing is what's considered the meta build order. Okay, so that's the... Th 
the three courier to bar into bank wagon into 700 coin then aging up uh shipping virginia general assembly and then going factory wagon after that so we're doing the exact same thing except for 700 coin we're also putting in the the irish and we're also getting hunting dogs and a market and we're also getting a trading post uh and now so a bit of a mistake i make here uh, I actually lose my barracks just as it was about to research veterancy for my muskets. But I say, you know what? Stuff it. We're just going in anyway. He's got uh, he's got three Gatlings on the front line. I say, I can just walk up to you. You're not protecting them at all. Uh, I just do a nice attack move. Try and spread out the damage as much as I can because I'm about to spray them all with my Gatlings from behind. And two of them go down with a third one just about to come down. I'm retaining a massive mass. A massive mass. A large mass of units. Uh, still outnumbering him by a mile. And on top of that, we've got our Gatlings that are still alive. So it really just goes to show just the, the extent uh, that we are uh, ahead at this point. So really able to leverage our build order and just utilize it. We spot his muskets. He was trying to be a little bit sneaky uh, and, and work his way around, but uh, we did manage to take them out as well. Now, we're, we're in a bit of a dilly uh, of a pickle right now because we've lost a military production building. And so all of our resources are, uh, are really starting to build up. So at this point, I'm like, well, hold on a minute. We, we got to fix this up. Uh, we do spot the fort going down in the south of the map, so I just say, you know what, we're just going to send everybody down there. Even though we've got a fight going on at the moment, it's more important that we focus on this fort. He actually equips me later in the game and says, lucky fort. No, mate, that's not luck, that's skill. I had, I think it's, uh, I think it might be the flag that's down there actually providing that line of sight. I'm not sure what's providing, oh, it could be the native scout, actually. Yeah, it's the native scout that spot, spotted that, uh, that fort. Uh, so, uh, yeah, very fortunate that I, I spotted it. And so, now that fort wagon coming out as well. Uh, and uh, that uh, blockhouse wagon that I've sent, or an outpost wagon. So I've decided, uh, because uh, it's essentially a barracks that, that I'm, I'm making right there. So I've lost an out, uh, a blockhouse, so I'm just going to be rebuilding it uh, there. Making sure I split up my, my Gatling guns uh, and moving them apart, but uh, also putting down this fort in a very forward position. I feel like the United States, it's all about infrastructure. It's all about, you know, getting down your town centers, getting down your outposts really getting down your fort and just trying to control as much of the map as you can uh, while at the same time, you know, thinking about your economy. Now, take a look at, at our economy behind this. Uh, we don't have any food, uh, any wood trickle at the moment, so still uh, need to change that over with the factory. Getting pretty close to housed, but fortunately we're about to take a bad fight, but that's okay. We've got so many muskets, so many more units than our opponent does. They're just trickling in at this point. We're just able to take out the Gatling guns individually. Now sending in the musket upgrade card or the musket combat card. And from here, that's that's pretty much the build order. Uh, I, I hope that you guys are impressed with this build order. Uh, so in the end, uh, I won. You can see I'm, I'm up 4,000 score at this point. Uh, I've got two trading posts. I've got my factory up. I've got way more villagers than him. I think I'm up four villagers at, at the very least. Uh, just because I've got Irish, whereas he sent the 700 coin. We've got, you know, the Russian-American company, which is out there with our extra 30%. We've got line of sight from that that's protecting our villagers. Our villagers are out happily on the map. Look at the units that are streaming and look how big this economy is right now. And we don't even have steel traps yet. Steel traps is on the way. It's 13 minutes in. I probably could have got this at eight minutes and we'd be looking, looking even better. Now look at the scores. I'm up 6k at this point. So really, it's, it's, it's a very simple game from here. Fellas, I hope that you've enjoyed this game. I hope that I'm not sure what I've said on the title here. It probably sounds clickbaity, but I assure you, whatever it is, it's not. Because this strategy is legitimately... Uh, it, it's unstoppable. It, it, it is so good. I've, I've played this strategy up against rushes. I've had no problem being able to hold with Minutemen as well as with uh, with five irregulars just because you've got them, the barracks that comes up in the military wagon. So it comes up really, really quick. And uh, yeah, just incredible stuff. So fellas, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.